people fall in love with their hitmans and the sugar rays easily impressed like magic with the look away the punch is falling off me like i was dipped in cooking spray you'll take the stand and eight when i jab jab and hook away i'm kind it's of tired of all this talk and everything i'm just gonna tell you this i'm gonna knock him out that's all it is to it and that's the bottom line What's good with y'all? Welcome to the channel. Just wanted to chop it up with my people real quick. So listen, man, we got to talk about it. Lucas Brown and Junior Fa. Now, this punch that Lucas Brown knocked Junior Fa out with was an illegal punch. It landed directly behind the head. And I believe it was intentional. Yeah, I said it. I believe it was intentional. Why do I believe it was intentional? Because he did it twice. Mm. Yeah. And it landed in the exact same spot both times. I don't believe in coincidences. Do you believe in ghosts? Because I don't. Now, you can tell that this punch affected Junior Fa's equilibrium because he lost all mobility. This motherfucker got hit so hard, he started looking for his contacts. And he don't even wear contacts. Now, Lucas Brown should have been DQ'd, and I believe this referee, Jeffrey Eddy, should never be allowed to referee ever again in his life. This is the type of shot that ends careers. Nah, fuck that. This is the type of shot that ends lives. We have no idea how this is going to affect Junior Fa's career later on in the future. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I'm out. Disrespectfully. With a short left hand. And a wide sweeping. Wow! Just a huge haymaker right hand from Lucas Brown annihilates Junior Fa. Can you believe that? There it comes again! A thunderous shot scores a first round knockout. Two massive bombs by Lucas Brown ends this heavyweight fight in one.